I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can recode this survey data. You never want to change your original data. You always want to be able to go back to it when you've made a mistake, and you can't assume you're not going to make any mistakes. So put a new sheet in, and let's double click on that and change the name to recode. And then we can find our recoded data later. And to just bring it in, put, click in that top corner. I'm not quite there. There we go. And put equals. And then just go over here and click. And it's going to just bring everything in. Then you paste it down the whole way. I've got a lot more data than this, but just to show you. And we want to recode the responses, the Likert scale responses. So I only want to paste in here and then I'm and we need the headings. And then I'm going to use a formula to recode strongly agree to five, agree to four, etc. There are many different ways that you can do the recoding, but I'm going to show you probably the cleanest way and the way that makes it easiest to find your mistakes if you make a mistake, and easiest way to change things and to check things. And those are all very important. Now I've made a separate tab here called Switcheroo, because this is where I'm going to define what I want to switch. I want to switch these numbers for these words. And I'm going to illustrate the formula here so you can see how it works, and then I'll put it on the recoding page and it will just recode everything. So there's a formula in Excel called switch, and all formulas start with equal. So equal switch, and then open parenthesis, and this is going to be our little test illustration cell. We're going to switch what's in that cell. So I click there and it writes E3 for me. And now you say, what do I want to switch and what do I want to switch it for? So whatever's in E3, if it's this, switch it for this. And we could write out strongly agree and put it in quotes, but if you write it out, then if you want to change anything, you have to go back and change the writing. It's just so much easier to be clicking in cells where you've already got the words. And then comma, if it's this, switch it for this, comma, this, switch this, comma, this, switch this, comma, this, switch this, and then close it out. So strongly agree is there, it switches it for five. If let's put in agree to check it, switches it for four, and let's put in disagree switches it for two. So this works. So see the formula? The first thing is what you're going to switch. If you click in here, it highlights everything for you if, and color codes it so you can see what's where. So it's going to look here and then everything else is the switch. If strongly agree, switch for this, etc. And if you do it like this, and if you change your mind and decide, no, I want strongly agree to be one, two, three, four, five, like this, you don't have to change the formula because it's switching strongly agree for whatever's in that box. So on your recode page, just write the formula, the same formula we did, and it's going to look a little bit uglier because it's going to have the names of the tabs in the formula. So equal switch And what are we going to switch? We're going to switch whatever's in this cell for, and now we do the switcheroo tab. So just click over there. And this, but because we're going to paste this across and down, hit the F40 at dollar sign because we want to not have that increment, comma, switch it for this, and hit the F4 to get the dollar signs on the B and the 2, so when we paste across it won't change, comma, this, F4, for this, 
And if you make a mistake, 90% of the time your mistake is going to be you don't have dollar signs where you should. So always check that first. Comma. This. Dollar sign. By hitting F4. You can put the dollar signs in there by hand. But it's tedious. You only have to do this once. Because we're going to paste it across and down. And this. F4 comma F4 and close it off. Now I added into the formula another row here where if there's nothing give me a zero for the recode. Otherwise if there's nothing it's going to give you NA because it didn't find a match. So we pull it across and see the formula goes, it's going to check D2 on the other page where the original data is, then E2. So here's where it checks and where it's looking up to do the switch doesn't change because we have the dollar sign. We don't want it to change because we just want it to refer to this table. So you can just pull it across, you can pull it down. And of course, you know, pull it to where all your data is. Where the zeros are here, there was nothing. They just didn't answer the question. And you can decide what to do with your missing data. You could leave it blank. You could tell it to put a blank there. Um, you're probably going to want to do analyses on these numbers. So you don't want to mix text in here. So you just decide what to do with your missing data. But that's how you can recode your data. If you're going to pull this into a statistics program, you'll want to select the page, copy it, and then paste special values only so that you have numbers in here instead of formulas because you don't want to be doing statistics with humongous formulas that are pulling data from a different page.